Designing labels can be complex. From a single printer shop to multiple production facilities around the world, Nice Label Designer simplifies your label design and management. In Designer, you create dynamic label templates that adapt to your labeling needs and make your entire labeling process more efficient. Designer is a desktop application that works with Nice Label Label Cloud to help you print labels you design from anywhere. Nice Label printer drivers help you get the most out of your label printer, so label templates you create in Designer can take full advantage of all your printer features. In this video, you'll learn how to create a simple dynamic label template for your product labels, how printer drivers enhance your label template designs, how to create static label objects on your templates like text objects and lines, how to create dynamic objects on your templates and understand how dynamic elements work, how to create variables and functions and map them to your label template objects. Before you start designing and managing new label templates and printing labels, check your label printer model and install the correct Nice Label printer driver for your printer. Designer works with your printer driver to optimize your design experience by supporting all the specific features and capabilities of your specific printer model, like printer fonts, barcodes, or RFID tag encoding. To always get the best results when you print labels, download your printer driver for free from our webpage. Start designing your product label template. Open Nice Label Designer and click Create a New Label. The New Label Setup Wizard guides you through basic label template settings. First, select your printer. You can select any printer with a Nice Label or Windows printer driver. You can always change your printer later. Next, choose your page orientation. Finally, choose your label dimensions. Click Finish to see your new product label template. You're ready to add objects to your label template and choose how they'll appear on all your product labels. You need some fixed objects, like pictures, to stay the same on each label. First, add your company logo. Create a new picture object and choose your picture file. In Nice Label LMS and Label Cloud, you can also add your picture files stored in Control Center. Next, create a new line. Create a line object and place it below your picture. Next, create new fixed text objects for the information you need on your product labels. Include the following information in text objects on your label template. Product name, batch number, category, description, product date, and an expiration date. To update text on your text objects, Select your object, right-click to open Properties, and type a new value. You can instantly improve the look and feel of your label template by formatting and aligning your objects. Select a group of objects to edit together, then use the Align tools on your Designer Home tab and the Style tab in the Properties pane to make your changes. With your static label objects formatted and in place, add dynamic objects you need to change from label to label. To make objects dynamic, link them to data sources. You can link dynamic objects to data sources like variables, functions, or data from your Excel, SQL, and other existing databases. Variables are named placeholders for holding different dynamic data. Your product labels need dynamic text objects with variable data sources so your print operators can type in information for different products at print time. Start by adding a new text object for your changing product name. Link a new product name variable to your text object. Under Source, change your object data source from fixed data to a new variable you name product name. By default, prompting for your variable is set to prompt at print time. Leave this box checked so your print operators can type in product names when they print labels. You can make sure your print operators enter the correct data by changing permitted characters and other variable settings. You can test out your new variable by clicking print to open the print dialog. Under variables, type in a new value for your product name variable and press enter to update your print preview. 
your print operators type product names as variable values like this when they print labels. You can quickly create additional variables for batch number, category, and description by adding them in the data panel. With your variables created, link them to new text objects on your label template. To save time, you can link your variables as data sources when you create your new text objects. Select a text object, open the drop-down list, select the variable batch number, and click where you want it on your label template. Your text object appears on the label template linked to your batch number variable. Repeat this process to link a new dynamic text object to your category variable. You can open the print dialog to see your progress and test your label template with the print preview. Next, add a product description to your label template. Because your product description text can be long and unpredictable, a text object isn't the best object to use. Text objects grow with their content. If the text in a text object is too long, your text object can grow too large for your label template and may not print correctly on your label. To fit your text into one area on your label template, you use a text box object. Text objects and text box objects process and print text in different ways. Create a text box object linked to the variable description and click to place it on your label template. To make sure your changing content fits into your text box object, you enable text fit options to automatically adapt the object content font size to the size of your text box. Text fit options are especially useful when you work with variable data. In your text box object properties, go to Style, Text Fit to choose different text fit options. For your product description text box object, you choose Fit Contents by Adjusting Font Size. You can check how this setting works on text boxes at print time. When you test with a short product description, your text displays with a larger font. If you add additional text, the font size decreases so everything fits inside your text box object. Note that if your text box object content is still too long to print at even your minimum font size, you get an error message and your label doesn't print. Using text box objects with text fit options helps you make product label templates that automatically determine the best fit for your dynamic label data. With your text objects linked to data sources, now you add a barcode object. Your barcode object values are also dynamic, so you create a new variable for your barcode object to display. Your label needs an EAN13 barcode. Go to Object Properties, Barcode, and change your barcode type to EAN13. Because this barcode type requires a 12-digit number, you can make sure your print operators can only type a number with 12 digits at print time. Under Properties, Source, open Advanced Properties and change your barcode object input rules. Set Allowed Characters to Numeric and limit the length to 12 characters with fixed length. Click OK to apply your new input rules. EAN13 barcodes also include a special 13th check digit that allows systems to detect errors in barcode data. Designer automatically calculates a check digit for your barcode object at print time. Your variable doesn't need to include a check digit. Your barcode object is now configured for your product labels. Your product label template needs a dynamic text object for your production date. Link your new text object with a new current date variable type and place your text object on your label. In Properties Source, choose your output date format and printer clock settings. By default, Designer uses your printer clock for the current date variable type. When not supported, Designer uses your computer clock. 
you can always change this in variable settings. Finally, for your expiration date, you link a new dynamic text object with a function of your current date variable. Click Add New Function. Functions make calculations based on your existing data source values and store the results in function data sources. You add a function that automatically calculates your expiration date by combining your current date variable value with a time offset in a new function data source. Add a new function in your data pane. Choose a date offset function type and click Create. Your products expire six months after production. In Function Properties, under Input Data Source, select your production date variable and set six months as an offset. Link your new function to a text object on your label template to complete your design. You've successfully designed your new label template. Before you print, save your template depending on your Nice Label edition. In Nice Label LMS and Label Cloud, you can save your label templates in Control Center. In Nice Label Express or Pro, you can save your label template as an NLBL file on your computer or network. At print time, your label template automatically generates a printing form your print operators can use to type in product data. In Nice Label LMS and Label Cloud, we recommend you print with the Nice Label web printing client. You can also print with Nice Label Print. That's it. Now you can start printing labels with your new label templates. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos to learn more about how Nice Label can help you do more, faster, with less.